Oh, man. Me and Mike have talked about record pools on Twitter before. I got beef with a certain record pool. Uh oh. Yeah, man. Let of. it out. We'll bleep it if Look, you need. You can, you, can, you can leave out the name of it, but tell us yeah. why. But every time you say their name, just know that's like five minutes of work for me. So be cautious. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to say which record pool it is. I will say. <laughs> Stupid, bro. I, I will say that they make you pay by the three month subscription. Oh, oh okay. I know exactly. <laughs> <laughs> say less. And, uh, say less. I, I think you know i think they usually they have a lot of music no doubt about it but it's a lot of trash and, <laughs> <laughs> i think uh plus they're bad they don't have a back catalog sometimes i need i need certain throwbacks i need certain things and, they delete you know, their uh their their songs sometimes the throwback yeah sometimes for the price that i pay i feel like they should do a better job i feel Although, like you i only- did see they just updated their record pool so it's called something else now i feel like you only need two good ones and they're like it, yeah. do you guys make your own edits at all or i do, do you guys play so I, I use them as i use them as dj tools okay Not, or okay. like i'm yeah i used to make short edits but after watching your episode last week with matt magic and duct tape i told yeah, you yeah. two points so much yeah. easier. like an edit edit pack i've never had but uh i i do i have a several um, I showed Paco. Uh, yeah, I got a couple of Junga edits. Yeah, they're really good, I think. Yeah. And these these sites are making short edits. Some of them are making short edits for you, so it's like yeah. Might as I well know. Just... I know. Uh, yeah, for sure. So, what's your guys' favorite one? So we're not now. We're done. Now we can, we'll, we'll talk about like what's everyone's favorite one. Uh, I know mine. The only one I have is DMS, and the only thing I'll say about DMS is I wish I could couple it with something that's really good with like high energy remixes. Uh, I imagine that uh, Headliner Hit Club, I think is what it's called, would be able to pair it with. But for me, like just having, I know that DMS is gonna have the intros of pretty much every song that I need and that I can kind of go to iTunes to like, you know, get my tastemaker stuff and all that. Um, okay, so. Need, like a intro or something. Yeah, what's that? Go ahead, Danny. As you say that, does anybody have any, any compliments or anything to say about what he just said about DMS? Have you guys all used DMS? So uh, here's my thing about DMS is I think there's still some, it's still, first of all, they, of, of all time for my career, I think they, they were the best. Okay? okay. But I think right now, I don't think they're always on top of the trend, the release, like the releases are timely, timely on the trends. Mm-hmm. Like, um, especially like with the hip hop, there's a lot that isn't on DMS that I have to go to HMC for yeah you know they're really on their hip-hop but they're that's like their thing anyway i've had i've had dms oh no my bad go ahead no go ahead i've had it for a year and i their back catalog is really good especially Mm -hmm. if you're looking for like something rock exactly but i i definitely agree with you like anything that comes out recently or some even some of the edits there's a couple editors on there that i feel like i like their edits but there's not enough of their they don't have enough good edits yeah. But that doesn't stop me from following them. Right. But yeah. There's there's definitely some good stuff on there. I DMS isn't my favorite. I don't subscribe to DMS anymore. Yeah. If you but need yeah, an old I song, agree with you. DMS has it for sure. Mm-hmm. Never tried. Yeah. About you, Jungle? Um, I think I belong to three record pools right now. Um, but I kind of like sometimes I'll, I'll veer away from the record pools and I subscribe to a, like a lot of DJs and they'll send me like a edit packs or mm. things like that. And then sometimes, dude. I, I know this used to be like frowned upon like growing up and stuff, but like sometimes like SoundCloud, they'll have like really great quality like uh, songs and those where you, those that's a like a platform where you can find those gems that you can't find on any any uh, uh, record. Yeah, board. we yeah. talk about that all the time. Going uh, gem hunting for on SoundCloud. Yeah, yeah dude. man, it's my least favorite thing to do. But yeah, if there's if I, I can't find something on DMS, yeah. it's like okay, I, I, up, like I have to have that. Oh yeah, man. Like yeah. for this uh, for this what's it's called album for this um, Juice World album, I know. That like if I can't find something on DMS, it's like oh man, here we go. Just go into SoundCloud, type Juice World, and search. Like for let me let me log back in because I haven't been in so long. Let me go get these songs. I use a lot of the SoundCloud stuff for like uh, like EDM stuff. Um, Headliner is really good for that. I I found in the past, and I mean I like Headliner because they they do have a lot of EDM stuff. You probably know, um, and that's okay. kind of like what I I my favorite genre anyway. So I'm always like researching like every single day like seeing what comes out and, and things like that but uh club killers is really well um shout out to them for letting me get on their uh their podcast recently um 
if I DJ Studio forever, I had a little probably not gonna resubscribe. Ooh, that's illegal. Ooh. Damn. Now I gotta bleep that out, Jungle. Five Good job. <laughs> Guys, where can people find you? Uh, social media handles. Uh, go ahead, Junga. Uh, Twitter at DJ Junga. I need to get better at tweeting. Uh, I have recently, but um, that's kind of where I slack. I never post any gigs or anything on it. I need to because it's kind of like more personal to me, I guess. Um, Interesting. Which you start with that one. Facebook, <laughs> awesome. Uh, Instagram at awesome Junga. Um, Snapchat is Jungalaya. Uh, Mixcloud, I, uh, DJ Junga as well. Everything's like DJ Junga, so. I, I, you would put your Snapchat. Official. You would, man. He's over here like, hey. That's how I do it. I promote myself on Snapchat. And a lot of people so slide yeah, up. Like, yo, oh, yo, send me uh, send me snaps. You know, I'm Snapchat. at DJ Junk. <laughs> I know. We all know what happens on Snapchat. Go ahead, Danny Paco. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, you can oh, find me. Yo, Junga got the wild feet pics. Go ahead and join his own fans. <laughs> he got the Snapchat pro. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you could find me on uh, Facebook at Instagram, Speedway Twitter, <laughs> at, the, at your local Speedway boy. <laughs> uh, but you basically find me anywhere: SoundCloud, MixCloud, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook at DJ Danny Paco. Uh, yo, Venmo's the same thing. You know, since we're throwing out stuff like that, Venmo's is. also at DJ Danny Paco. You know, help me uh, get some tornadoes from Speedway. Tornados, huh? I don't know. I hope somebody does send you some money. That'd be great. You know, if you send me Venmo money, just make sure you put uh, in the caption "tornado money." I'll know what it's for. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then uh, for six fourteen releases, guys. Uh, as you see, six fourteen makes it very comfortable. Uh, man, I can. I'm missing words today. Clothes. What's the? What's the like the special apparel? Apparel, <laughs> apparel, apparel, apparel and clothes. accessories. That's the 50 clothes. clothes, right? God damn. Uh, that cold front. 60. That cold front. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 614 is the exact opposite of this like commercial slash me trying to promote them. It's amazing stuff. Um, that's all I'm going to say about it because I'm just going to make it worse by saying it. But we have 614 releases. Uh, Fallen by Fear and Low is out on Obvious Records. Is that today? That is today. They're house artists, aren't they? Nice. Yes, they are. Yeah. Okay. Alex and Zach. Shout out to Alex and Zach. So uh, make sure you guys, you know, go to Spotify, add it to your playlist, like them, share it with your friends. And, uh, you know, I haven't listened to it quite yet because obviously it came out today, but that's probably what I'll do first thing after this podcast. Big shout out, Fear and Low. And that was it. I don't think Intel had a release this week. Uh, James, um, shout out. I want to give a shout out to yeah. uh, Bach Oven. His uh, new release, it wasn't just released, but it, like a week ago or two two weeks ago. And his, his uh, song is charting on Beatport on number one. Wow. On some of the, on, not on the regular Beatport, but one of the charts, it's on number one. And he's been doing great with that track. So congratulations to uh, Max Bachoven. Yeah, man, that's dope oh, yeah. uh, for, for him. Because, I mean, he started fairly recently and, you know, has been killing the game. So Columbus DJs are doing it, man. Guys, if you found something helpful, if you laughed a little bit, like the video, subscribe for more of the Columbus DJ podcast, gear reviews. We did a software review yesterday for Stemverter on the channel, um, you know, tutorials, all that stuff. Oh, yeah. And then uh, comment, you know, if you guys have questions about something we talked about, I answer every comment. If you have a question for Junga, Paco, or Corrupt, I'll forward it over to them so they get an answer to you. Uh, we're just trying to build a community of awesome DJs where we can ask, you know, uh, high intensity questions and get great responses just like we had today. So Junga, Danny Paco, thank you guys so much. Uh, you didn't have to drive this time to Columbus, but uh, hopefully the next time you will and we'll all get to hang out. So Corrupt, great job tonight, man. Good luck with uh, whatever you got going on next. Thank you guys. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thanks for having us. Peace. Yep. Later. Be safe.